Hello friends and welcome to a very special episode of Big Deno Plays. I say it's a very special episode because we're not actually going to play anything today. We're instead going to set up for our next Kingdom Death Monster campaign. There's a lot involved in setting up a campaign. I normally do this mostly off screen um, and just sort of get stuck in. But as the game continues to evolve in complexity, um, something like this is probably useful for everyone to um, work through and also probably helpful for me. So um, the first thing that we're going to do, uh, obviously I use Scribe for all of my campaigns. Uh, wonderful app, Scribe. Uh, we're going to use it once again um, and we are going to start a new settlement. So I will let everyone uh, that's watched this video just help me decide the name. So the name will be TBD for the moment. Um, so as you can see, Scribe helps us really narrow down exactly what campaign we're going to play. As you can see, the options are Lantern, Dreamkeeper, Sun, Stars, Bloom and Citadel. I have played Stars, I have played Dreamkeeper, I have played Squires of the Citadel, and um, I have not yet played Sun. However, I do want to play a normal campaign with the Frog Dog and the Black Knight. Uh, People of the Sun does change the dynamics of the game a little bit. So we will stick with the People of the Lantern and we will create four starting survivors. We do have version 1.6. So we have to decide uh, each of the nodes and if we want to include more nodes uh, of things. So uh, we're going to use the Frog Dog. So the White Lion will disappear. Now we may need to come back and add the White Lion at some point because you can occasionally face the White Lion. Uh, the node 2, Screaming Antelope, uh, Spider Gillies, or Smog Singers for the moment. Um, we're actually going to stick with Screaming Antelope. And for node 3, Quarry, uh, we are actually going to include the um, Phoenix and we're also going to include the Dragon King. So at the moment, there's no specific rules for how many nodes you can include. I think the intent when Campaigns of Death comes out will be to include one. However, I'd like to add a little bit of a little bit of extra enjoyment throughout there. So our node one nemesis will be the butcher, and at level two or three, the Kalenium Butcher. Uh, our node two nemesis will be the um, Atnas. Uh, and node three nemesis will be the Black Knight. So uh, we also have the Frog Dog, and just for, because I love him, we'll play the Gorm in there as well. Um, so looking at the expansion, so Black Knight, Dragon King as another Node 3. Um, Frog Dog, Gorm, not playing Green Knight, uh, Lion Knight, no. Always like to include the Lonely Tree, a bit of fun when it pops up. And that's it. So we will include general gambler's chest contents, but we're not going to play Crocodile, not going to play the Smog Singers, we're not going to play the King, just Atnas. So technically, the Dung Beetle Knight and the King are both Node 4. Um, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Dragon King is Node 3. Uh, Encounters will get a, a start, scouts will get a start, seed patterns will get a start, and characters will get a start. Now, do we want to include Ark Survivors? I've been tossing and turning on this because I really love Ark Survivors, I love the philosophies, uh, but I haven't played a campaign without it since Gambler's Chest arrived. So I think we are going to uh, play without it, and that will also make the scouts uh, a little different and see how they play without just gaining free observations. Um, and if that changes how I feel about scouts. So a normal, non-Arc Survivor, People of the Lantern campaign. Okay, so I think I've gone through and added them. You can actually go and add expansions, community expansions, which are how you get access to all of these white box content, etc. So I've added all of those. So if we now go back to our People of the Lantern campaign and click on change content, we can actually select uh, various fighting arts, innovations, etc. So um, the Black Knight, 
court, drinking, flower night, gamblers, blah, blah, blah. So we will include Skrells to innovations, which is a bit of fun. Locations, we have the frog dog, the gambler's chest, we are including the outskirts, wonderful. Dragon King, we're not including the throne. The white jigger lion, we will not include the catarium. Settlement events, so holiday white speaker, Nico, story in the snow, yes. Pinups of death, two. Dark seamstress, yes. Skrell, the plant in the stone, yes. Sword hunter, if unlocked. And that is all. Core, Black Knight, and Basara. We will include concept. Oh, we don't have smog singers, so I don't think we do include that actually. Fighting art. So this is the trickier one. Um, so there's the story of bloods. We're not going to include those. Um, we will go into uh, echoes of death. So we have all uh, of these. Um, options. I've already selected four, so let's grab out our fighting art deck and I will show you the four that we've selected um, and then we're going to go through and add some of the rest. So off you go, scribe. So shield orang, armored fist, rolling gate, backstabber, and stockist are the five that we have selected. And when I say selected, uh, I don't think there is actually a specific, I think you can randomize it or you can choose. Um, I don't think there's a specific way of doing it. So backstabber, uh, rolling gate, shield orang, armored fist, stockist. I've used sword oath quite a lot, it's awesome. Uh, I will need to go and have a look at these um, strain milestones because I'm not sure <laughs> I haven't done if I've done those. Uh, I haven't looked at them for a while. So, uh, none for the king, lion god, lion knight, manhunter, Percival. Yes, I do have black guard style. Um, I, can, I can't remember how you get that. Smog thing is nice, but it's perfect. So that's all our fighting arts. Disorders, Atnes, black knight, core, da -da 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 -da, flower, gambler's chest. Yep. So that's all fine. Um, abilities, Kalenium Butcher, so we are going to include these two in there. And we're not going to include the White Jigger Lion. Basara, no, we don't get that. Weapon Proficiencies, the Kalenium Butcher, a cleaver. Cool. Gear, all right. So 10th Anniversary Survivors, we are going to include these seed patterns. Uh, before the wall, rare gear, we will include the tabard, the white line gauntlets we don't need because there's currently no way of getting them. Rare gear, cloth leggings, hard breastplate, we'll include both of those. The death crown, inheritor Aya or Aya, we will include both of those. Devil Satan, the hope stealer. Early survivor, Zelda, obsession, Easter Aya, ancient root. Urza, Seed Patterns, Done, Fade, A Newborn and a Sword of Silence, uh, Grimmery, Beta Gear, no, I don't want those, I actually want the other one, uh, Indomitable Gus Guys Grimmery, perfect, so that one, that one, as you can see, setting up for a campaign, this is all stuff that is... Um, we're not going to need that because we don't have that. Lord's Ruin. We're not going to actually need that because we don't have a king. Stampede Glaive. We do need. Kalenian Butcher. Don't know what they are. Lunar Twilight Knights. We will include the Fish of Abundance. Oktoberfest Ire. These three. Pinups of Death. I'm not going to make any of them, so I'm not going to include them. The Repocratus is beta, so I don't need that. That's also beta. Slenderman, no. Smog Singers, no. Spite Why have we got two Smog Singers in there? Fair enough. 
Uh, Winter Solstice Lucy is the Grim Muffler. And that is all. So I think that's all of the gear. Resources. <laughs> Echoes of Death 3. There is a Fiddler Crab Spider. Atnus. Uh, why has Atmos got those? They're all king resources. I'll have to let Scribe Guy know. Tongue Beetle Knight, Echoes, Flower Knight, Frog Dog, Gambler's Chest, Gorm. So we'll take an Impacted Gusk. And we'll take a Denticulated Blade Hip. And we'll take a Cold Living Flesh. And we'll take a Lump of Atmos. And I don't think we want that. No, we don't want a Bleeding Corpse Lily. You can only use that in certain ones. No Jigger Lion. Okay. Armor sets. So one of the cool things about uh, some of the expansions is they add different armor sets. We are going to include Vagabond. Uh, we are also going to include, from the Lion Knight, these three. Brawler, Dancer, Warlord. You're not supposed to, I just really like them, so we're going to. Why not? Um, patterns. <laughs> Tenth anniversary survivors, we will include all of these patterns. Basara, we will not. The core. Death Crown Inheritor Ire, we will include both of those. Halloween Ringtail Vixen, we will include both of those. Yes, yes. No, no, yes, 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 no, yes. Philosophies. So you do normally, if you're playing an Ark Survivor campaign, incorporate these philosophies at this point. However, we're not playing with Ark Survivors. So we also don't need to include knowledges, which is good. Um, so that is everything we need to do on Scribe. Now if we go here and have a look at our starting survivors, we have our four starting survivors. We'll rename those, so put forth your nominations for renaming those. And that is it. So we'll get rid of Scribe now and we will whip out each of the expansions. What is this one? The Frog Dog. So I store all of my stuff uh, together in each uh, under the divider. So for example, the frog dog, everything, including settlement events, innovations, etc., is all stored under that. So what I do then um, is pop the innovations and stuff into the game that I'm playing. So strange resources will go into the strange resource pile. Basic resources will stay there. AI will stay there. Hit locations will stay there. Hunt events will stay there. That special hunt event will go into the hunt event section. And then we have, what else have we got in here? Fart deck. <laughs> this is all farts. No. AI, AI, AI. Oh, disorders. Disorder, disorder, disorder. Fighting art, fighting art, fighting art. Farts. What are these hit locations? Why have I separated them? Oh, he's got a lot of hit locations. Why has he got two traps? Oh no, these are these are don't include unless it is the big frog dog. Okay, cool. The bullfrog dog. Alright, so Indominal Resources, Innovations, Secret Fighting Arts, Terrain, C 
So I wonder if that's only used in his battle because it doesn't have the normal artwork on the back. A vermin resource, the golden frog, and those are normal terrain. So vermin resource will go in the pile. Normal terrain will go in the pile. Disorders will go in the pile. Fighting arts will go in the pile. Okay, so a terrain card, which we will keep with the frog dog. Fart deck, hit location deck. Uh, these are also hit locations, but they will not be included in the normal fight. So I will put those here. Terrain, these two go into the terrain box. So I use the settlement box um, for, which came in gambler's chest, I think for my game. So we've got all of the terrain here. Uh, there is also the scout terrain in there though, which we don't need. Great. So all the terrain in there. Our fighting arts here with our three new fighting arts and those are unfroggable. Cool. So we'll just put those in there at the moment. And then our Disorder deck, where is our Disorder deck? Here, there we go. In here. So I think I've already included Atnes's ones, have I? Yeah, Atnes, Atnes, great. Uh, the second little box that I use is one from my actual storage solution. Uh, so we've got basic resources, vermin resources, and strange resources. So we'll put our vermin resource in there with the other vermin. And we'll put our strange resources in there with the strange resources. And our innovations go in here as well. So this special hunt event, um, I actually have gold boarded backs for special, uh, for hunt events. Um, and if we go and have a look at our hunt event deck, you can see that we have um, Dead Warrior, Baby in the Sword, Exquisite Aroma, Object of Desire, Scout Hunt Event, Sword in the Stone, etc. plus Bone Eaters, um, and then that has a different, uh, a consistent back, so it's very, very hard to tell. There's a tiny little bit of each of these cards sitting out the top, but I can't, I can't see it. So that's good enough for me. I know people have been uh, wanting an issue. So that, that's uh, from Dragon Shield, and it is the Japanese game, Japanese card game, uh, gold back. So I will replace that special hunt event. Uh, I don't obviously need them for these ones because these are all consistent backing. So, there you go. Great, so that's all the frog dog cards added in. Uh, I'm going to put that, I'll put that there. So these can all go back into my box, ready for the first play. Might actually leave those out because that's obviously the first monster we'll be facing. So the next monster we've got there is the Lonely Tree. Let's grab out the Lonely Tree. Uh, I don't think the Lonely Tree's got too many things. Nope, so it's got strange resources. I've already put those in the box. So we'll just review Atnes, every campaign, <laughs> you do this setup process, it takes a while. Good, I think I already had him in my last campaign, so good old Atnes. All right, the Dragon King. There will actually be some stuff in this one. So, hunt events. 
Kit locations. Dragon King. Alright, so the terrain is an obsidian tower. So we'll add that to the terrain deck. Some strange resources. A lava pool, we'll add that to the terrain deck. Some fighting arts and disorders. So those all get added. Black Knights. Wire campaign. So that's terrain specific to the Black Knight Showdown. That's tactics card. So I normally keep the tactics card separate um, because you do use those. Uh, disorder, 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 fighting art, fighting art, fighting art, innovations. So innovations, fighting arts, disorders. Give everything in there a big shuffle very soon. The tactics cards, I don't think we actually have a storage specific spot for those. So I usually put those over in a different spot. Those stay with the Black Knight terrain specific cards. Same deal with the Gorm. <coughs> I've added their innovations, fighting arts, all that stuff. And Gormy goes in. That's it. So let's just run through this. So in here I have the uh, encounter cards for the Bone Eaters. Basic resources, vermin resources, strange resources, all of the innovations, uh, character cards, and then these are pattern cards, uh, which we can collect throughout the campaign. Uh, here are all the armor sets we have available, the weapon proficiencies, and some vignette survivors, which we don't need for the campaign. In here, which is the main deck, so this is the fighting arts deck for all of our fighting arts, the disorder deck, uh, all of the seed patterns that we have available to us. Uh, you'll notice that I've included different backs. Some of these are patterns that are seed patterns. <laughs> Some of them are grey backs. Yeah, so it's it's a shamozzle, the seed the seed patterns. Uh, when you include all stuff. So I just like to shuffle it and then draw from the bottom. Uh, we'll include our innovations and our innovation deck in there once we add them. Here is our basic hunt events, our uh, special hunt events in front of that, our terrain deck, and then our tactics cards and a couple of other things. So that is my setup for the game. Uh, there is a lot of uh, moving parts in Kingdom Death. So organization is absolutely critical. Scribe makes a huge difference, um, as does having all these accessible and ready to go. Uh, right beside me down here, which you can't see, I have all of my terrain um, and all of the bits and pieces that we need for um, when we fight different monsters. So next step, uh, we have innovations here, uh, which are our principles. So we aren't going to need the romantic principle in this instance uh, from the new expansion because we don't have that. Um, Jigga Katerian we won't need. These are all <laughs> these are all of the various settlement locations that you can include. I like to um, remove the ones that I don't need. 
So those are new ones, we'll use those. Throne from my last campaign, Stone Circle, Bone Smith, Organ Grinder, Skinnery. We don't need a crockery, we do need outskirts. We'll keep that Bone Eaters thing separate. Plumery, Blacksmith, Dragon Armory, no Forum. No Coruscium, no Sky Reef, no Catarium. Intimacy, our special little thing, we keep that. Lantern Horde, Exhausted Lantern Horde, Weapon Crafter, Leather Worker, Barber Surgeon. We don't need that. Mask Maker, yes. We don't need Kingsmith. We don't need Wet Resin Crafter. We do need the Gorm Chemist. We do need the Gormery. Don't need the Dream Keeper. Don't need the Sun. Don't need the Sacred Pool. Don't need any of those. So these are all not included. So I'm going to separate those and put them elsewhere. And these are all the ones we use. The final thing. Our scout discoveries and our events. So these are all scout discoveries, not all, sorry. I didn't put the scout discoveries at the bottom, did I? Maybe I put scout discoveries in a different area, actually. <laughs> I think I put them elsewhere. Uh... All of these are the new events or the events that come in Gambler's Chest and um, everything. So all of these are fine. There is two murder that we take out. Plant in the stone. Concert we don't use because we haven't got smog singers. Knighting. I think that's a, that's a black knight one, is it? Yep. Jousting. Is that a frog dog one? Those Black Knight ones, the bell. It rang. They're all included. So there's another one called the Ballad of the Butcher, um, which must be in another area. And then Scout Discoveries is the last thing. So as you can see, all happening, lots happening. Um, just making sure you're organized um, and prepared for your campaign. So that's it. I'll catch you in the next episode when we start our new campaign, Big Dental. Oh, 